Hey, my name is Elena. I'm a junior here at Robert Morris University, and today I'm going to walk you through how to fill out your housing contract. We're going to get you one step closer to being a colonial. All right, to get started, you want to go to rmu.edu-accepted, your one-stop shop as an accepted student. Up here, you'll want to start by filling out Century accounts so that you have your login to complete the housing contract. Next, you can go to the Filing Housing Contract button and get started. You'll go here to the Visit the University login and log in using the username and password you just created. So let's start filling out the housing contract. Go to the top left corner and click Contract and select your, the upcoming academic year and hit Save and Continue. Here you're going to fill in your personal contact information. Make sure everything's correct and you have your emergency contact information up to date as well. And you can hit Save and Continue. Next, you want to make sure you have made your housing deposit payment. Your contract will not be complete until your deposit is paid. If you haven't already submitted your deposit, you can easily do so by hitting the Pay Online Now, then hit Save and Continue. Now, you're going to want to read and review the terms of housing contract so that you are aware of all the do's and don'ts of the dorms. Make sure you hit Save and Continue. Now for the fun part, profile questions. Here you will answer all kinds of questions such as what temperature you like the room, if you're a morning or a night person, etc. Some are yes or no questions, others are asking high or low. Like this first one, cold. I like to use the air conditioning. In this case, low means not as much or low chance and high means absolutely or chances are high. Once you have answered all the questions, hit save and continue. At this point, you're almost done with the housing contract. You get to select what hall you want and what kind of room you're looking for. So you'll put your top two preferences of housing options and select whether you want a double room, a triple room, or if it's offered a single private room. And hit save and continue. So if you want to be included in the roommate search process, you're going to tick this box, add a name you want your potential roommate to call you, and add a short description about yourself and hit save and continue. Here you'll find the top three people you have similarities to and might be good roommates with or someone who's requested to be your roommate. You can also search people if you know other people coming to Robert Morris um, and select them as your roommate as well. Once you've completed that, you'll hit save and continue. Now you've completed your housing contract and from here you can check the status of your housing option and roommate selection and you're good to log out. And it's just that simple. Now you're one step closer to being a colonial. Welcome home.